Hey, I'm showing you guys today on how to install PS3 games on your jailbroken PS3 for free. No worries, all good. I do both methods, which are the one being to copy games from like a disc, because some games require you to have the whole game, such as GTA 5, on it, so you could transfer it, the the region code, and then you could get more mod menus, more access to things. And also you could just download it actually from the internet, but I show that way very thoroughly and very like safe and foolproof, you know what I mean? Being very blunt about everything. But basically on screen, I, I have to voice over these parts. I'm really trying to get a new PVR soon. I apologize. But basically in the first part, you're going to see me go into Multiman. Now this is after like a restart, basically. Restart your PS3, you know what I mean? Go into Multiman after, just straight away no signing in no using PSN patch go straight into it right then basically what you want to do is you want to put in your game that you need you know the disc right the disc game and then press triangle copy it copy it to the only place I think it's going to say you don't have any USB sticks in HDD zero copy it to there and then just say yes and then it's going to take you know it's gonna give you an estimate amount of time how long it will take and then it will copy all of the files if it fails or something Follow the second method, but watch the whole video if you want the full understanding about everything. I talk about everything when it comes to the computer part. Like, I really branch off about everything. I really try to show you guys because I try to make, I know this tutorial is long, I get it, but I try to make them so proof to you, you know what I mean, that everybody's questions is answered. Because I hated it when I watch YouTube videos of tutorials and they don't answer my fucking question. I mean, I'm not the type of person to leave a comment and ask it, you know what I mean, and wait for somebody. But yeah, guys, I hope you understand. Hope you all enjoy, though. Kind of spent some time on this, some stutters, you know what I mean? So, hey, show me some love. Peace out, homies. Now, I know how many people already knew about the whole copying your disk to your hard drive if you already have a jailbroken PS3. But a lot of people really still don't get the concept of actually how to download games from your computer and transfer them to your PS3. And I guess that's the gold mine that you're about to hit today. Now I don't have specific websites for you to go to. But I do kind of have almost like a path that you could follow if you want. You know what I mean? But I don't want to give you guys like all of these like go to this website, only use this website, you only use this and only use that. No, like... Look, the big thing about things, though, too, is that you kind of have to learn to get better at things, and I always want you guys to know that, so I'm going to, like, like I said, I'm going to show you guys for real, like, if I can't get on a website, if I can't, you know what I mean, there's no virus, you know what I mean, like, everything that I do, you will see, so let's just cut this shit straight and whatever, now look, this is what we need, we need, let's say, we need a VPN, by the way, you need a VPN, I'm saying, like, I have a VPN on my laptop, but like, you know what I mean? So, obviously you already know that I download all my torrents, as you're about to say. Download uTorrent. As you can see, it's not hard, I promise. I'll download it with us as we go, so this way I could show you guys how to use it or whatever. Probably just going to delete it right after since it's already on my laptop, but that's fine. But, we want that, right? And... Then, now wait, as, uh, as uTorrent's, uh, loading up or whatever, sorry, by the way, if I sound fucking crazy, but, like, I just woke up, and I don't know, I kind of want to get this video done, and I'm feeling it right now. So, basically, the VPN is for, so you're, uh, it's not really for other people not to find you or anything, it's more for, like, your internet service provider, to be honest with you. Because if your internet service provider sees that you are uh, using copyright infringement, you know what I mean, like downloading illegal, you know, this is downloading full games, you know what I mean, it's not legal. But yeah, as you see, I just went through the setup of uTorn, it was really fucking quick, and then you're gonna come up with a window like this, just exit out, who cares. And now the VPN, right? So, yeah, it kinda sucks. Now... With the VPN, it sucks because of the fact that, you know, oh, which VPN do I use? Look, there's so many VPNs to choose from, and my advice to you is just... Wait, wait what was he? We can use... You know what, if you want, use hide my. Use high IP. No, wait, wait. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hide my ass. Yeah.
That's better. No. My ass, not my internet service provider. <laughs> but as everything loads up, I'm going to try to show you guys the best I can. Um, I don't want to do all that. Okay. But the point is you need a VPN. You know what I mean? Now, just get a trial or something. You know what I mean? Nothing huge. Like, you don't need a credit card or something. You know what I mean? For a lot of them, a lot of them just let you do it. See, I would like, like, right now, just to show you guys. Okay, look, 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 ready? This, this could be very useful. Why? I don't know if this is actually 100% proof, but I'll show you guys how that works in a second if you guys don't already know. So basically, you're wondering now, okay, I have everything else. Where the fuck's the file, James? Like, what the fuck? What's going on, man? Like, how the fuck are we going to actually use this shit? I got you. No worries, man. All right. So basically, instead of going like this and blacks, no, black ops. I'm looking up black ops too, by the way, because everybody loves black ops too. Everybody's always wanting that game. You know what I mean? To put it on their PS3. And I mean, hey, what's a better way than to show you guys now? Now, basically, if you could see... You don't want to be here. <laughs> I mean, the really big thing that I always noticed, like the big sites, is like the Pirate Bay. Or the Pirate Bays. Now, if you see, they have a proxy list. Now, the Pirate Bay gets taken down all the fucking time. That's why. So, you could use any one of these. Which, yeah. <laughs> but, and then use that and it's basically all the same thing but look ready let's just look up black ops 2 and you kind of you always want to be close to the title that you're looking for you know what i mean whether it's just copy and pasting it uh from google if that makes it like the full title and very nice and neat do it because you know a lot of this stuff it doesn't come up like like I, when i type in here it doesn't come up like black ops 2 sir no okay so, hmm, I'm seeing a lot of, I could just see it already, PC. So let's dumb it down and say PS3. Let's see what comes up. It may say something about their servers or whatever. All right, we're good. Okay, look. Now, the key thing to know is, I already know, I already know. Which one do we choose? I know. Okay. Look. So basically... You see these, right? Choose the highest amount of SE and LE. Just choose it because that's the more people that have used it. Now look. Combining everything to do. do. <laughs> and then you could always check the bottom for comments, you know what I mean? And then when you find a torrent that you like, you know, on any uh, torrent website, they always say something like, get this torrent, torn down. You know what I mean? Something stupid. But when you click on it, it says launch application. And guess what? It launches you, torrent. The torrent you're trying to add. All right. Oh, yeah. I downloaded it for me. I don't know if it's actually going to go through because I already downloaded it. Oh, look, though. Black Ops 2 PS3. Yeah, see. So it will come up, right? Give it some time. Now, look at these files. You know, this is also, I want you guys to realize these are 20 gigabyte files. It might take a little bit. So this is no really no rush. Run it in the background of your computer. Do what you have to do. You know, give it a day or two. And then you basically, when it is, when it says it's seeding, just right click it and then just press stop and then pr open the containing folder find the file and let's say all right okay i get it now okay what will we do when we find the folder okay now look here's what matters too a little bit
that I forgot to talk about. Region code. You could always change your region code because there's always ways to convert from bless to bless, bless to bless. You know what I mean? So it's really not that bad, but that's a video for another time. You know what I mean? So there are always ways, you know, oh shit, I downloaded the U, the fucking bless version, and I'm bless. Okay, it's fine. You know what I mean? There's there's another video out there to show you how to convert if you don't want to take the time out of your day to download the bless version. Now look, this is just like a game, like everything that it has, obviously besides all this shit. But look, now here's what else you need. Now let's say, oh shit, like, alright, I ain't got no USB stick that's this big. No need. Ready? Remember that FileZilla is a great thing. Now we went over FTPs a little bit, I think. Uh, not, I don't have a Mac. I wish. Maybe one day. Um, FileZilla FTP. Now just, ready? Look at, I, I try to give you guys a second to look at the URL I click. You know what I mean? Because some people say they land up on crazy URLs. And it's just like, what the fuck are you looking at? You know what I mean? Just pay attention to what I do. Download files of a client. I would, but as you can see, I already have it. No point. Now. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn on my PS3 as we're going. But basically, you also want to, you know, make sure you, I mean, look. Ready? Put it like this. This is common sense skills. Ready? Something's pulling over Wi-Fi. Of course, it's going to take something longer to pull over Wi-Fi or whatever than something from a USB stick that is just feeding it the memory that is there. Like, there's no stopping. There's no... It's actually a connection that I have. Or that it has, I should say. Okay. So, what you also want to do is, for FTP servers, you go to Multiman and just open it up. Like... Don't do anything. Just tar start up your PS3 and open up Multiman. That's it. Then it's almost like the FTP server turns on for your PS3 almost. Now, put that in your mind like it's just the availability for your PS3 to actually be connected to and the files to be actually able to be, you know, seen and changed. Now, if we open up FileZilla... Yeah, fuck you. Fuck that thing. Alright. Now, here's what's also gonna happen. I feel like a lot of people are reading it's not done. The IP address. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, dude? You're a piece of shit. Alright, look, look, look. If you want, you could go to system information or whatever in the real XMB menu, like your real settings. But in multi man, you could just go to the left a little bit. System information, IP address is right there, but it's a local IP. Always remember that. People comment like all the time, like, oh, somebody's gonna get hit off. It's a fucking local IP address, guys. You can't hit off a local IP address. Everybody has one. It's almost like, you know, there are a lot, there's so many, they're just similar as fuck. So, as you can see, mine was this, and basically, that's all you need. Just type in this. There's not going to be fucking admin, and you don't need to type in any of that. Now, oh my god, James, what the fuck is this junk? No, 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 no need to worry. Click on HDD0. Now, if you remember from other jailbreak tutorials, we went in here, right, for, for our game to uh, edit, you know, eboots and shit. Nope. Go right into games. And this is where you drop the folder. It's going to come up right on Multiman, basically. And then what you would want to do is you transfer it over, right? Easy as fuck. You just, you just basically, like, like I told, just drag and drop the folder. But like I said, you know, it's going to take time. So you kind of have to give it maybe, maybe a day or, no. Eh, give it like 10 hours. You know what I mean? It will tell you. Make sure, you know, sometimes always I want to warn you guys when your PS3 is going, I think Multiman has like a turn off switch, you know what I mean, to keep your PS3 safe. So like it doesn't like burn out or anything. Like let's say you forgot it on or whatever. So always end up moving your controller after a couple like like after an hour and a half or whatever. You know, just for the just in case cuz that has happened to me that like my Multiman was on and I was running the server and it kind of just bailed on me. 
but yeah guys so basically what you would want to do now is i'm not going to switch over to my ps3 because i did show this part in the beginning now if you saw the beginning on how like after i was done copying the disc over and it was there and it was all cool now look when the when it comes up you could just go to like multi-man kind of looks like the x and b menu but when you go into the game column and go all the way up it says refresh refresh it and the game will come up it will say hdd uh, on the side of it make sure honestly this is just like i don't know it's my ocd or something just take the game out if you have one in any game you know what i mean it's just it looks kind of weird or i don't know i always feel like it's gonna do something to the game or my ps3 like overwrite you know what i mean it, it could i don't know it's just me though but the whole thing that i want to explain though very thoroughly is the fact that that's all you do is press refresh and then you and then pick the game you want and click x on it that's it that's all you do and it will load up the game but it's gonna load up the game like a disc or as if you were to put a disc in on the x and b menu right very fucking easy i hope you all fucking enjoyed this tutorial i apologize if i'm like very slow stuttery and you hear my chair squeak but i'm a very character channel as you could see i'm kidding obviously but yeah guys i hope you all enjoyed everybody always wants to know how to pirate shit and at least pirate things right like i said get the vpn you know what i mean even if it's the stupidest vpn kind of just protect yourself guys not from other people trying to come after you though your internet service provider could terminate your service for copyright infringement always remember that it doesn't matter how many people are on their thing it matters because of the fact that they could be sued for what it, you know what i mean so protect yourself guys you know what i mean do everything you know if you want at your own risk i mean it's not really fucking risk to be honest with you but i have to say that just in case you know fucking you it's youtube i understand that i love you all so fucking much understand that and i want to bring this to you guys because who doesn't love free games Peace out, homies.